What's going on guys? Snag here and it's time to preview round 17 of the 2024 NRL season, guys. That's right, round 17. Three rounds to round 20. God damn, we're nearly at the business end, guys. How absolutely crazy. Now, in this video, guys, we'll go over all our punts, we'll go over our tips, um, we'll just preview all the games, stuff like that. This round is a little tough because we don't know who's backing up in a lot of these games, but we'll do our best. We've said it before. The way the NRL does do their team list, we don't like it. We don't like it. They sort of just drop a bunch of players in there, and then they don't, we don't actually know the 100% team list until an hour before the game, which absolutely pisses me off. I know that, especially on the punt. Yeah, I'm about to get into it, the Bulldogs game. I'll explain to it. Um, I have a, a really nice one I like, but I'm like I'm not too sure if he will actually start there. So we'll have to wait and see. Might have to leave that one to last minute. Um, but yeah, guys, um, still buzzing off Origin. Uh, I just absolutely cannot wait for this round. I cannot. I love the way this year's shaping up, and oh, let's just get into it, guys. Let's get into it. All right, there's the ladder, guys. We all know what it looks like so far. Uh, she's taken shape. She's taken shape. But first, guys, let's go. This is a good game. This is actually a pretty awesome game. Sharkies, uh, what's their form like again? So, yeah, they have lost, coming off a loss, and they did have a couple of losses, so not great. Two from five in their last few. Doggies were flying high, just coming off a loss against the Roosters, where they were handled pretty comfortably. It was a pretty comfortable win. I mean, they were in it for a little while, but it was a, was a pretty handy loss there. Uh, so, yeah, def both teams looking for a win. Um, if we have a look, Doggies are sitting there in sixth. But, you know, if, if they lose this one, a few, there's definitely a few teams that could get a win behind them this weekend. You know, they could get swallowed really quickly and end up in 10th or something like that. So, yeah, definitely want to uh, get a dub there for the Doggies. Big game for them. And Sharkies obviously want to keep their spot way up here. They want to finish in the top four. They want to show everyone they're legit. And, uh, this, you know, a few teams could creep up on them real quick if they uh, start dropping too many more games. So... Yeah, so teamless guys. So Connor Tracy is out. Drew Hutchison is out. I think he was anyway. And Eli Clark is out too. So Taft in. Bronson Sherry back. Stephen Crichton back. However, he's named in the reserves. So we're not too sure. Bro, check the bro's neck out. Harry Hayes. Get that dude a game, lad. I want to see his neck in action, lad. That is a thick, thick neck. Uh, all right, so... Uh, this, is, this is going to be a tough one, guys. This is going to be a real, real tough one. Doggies have been great at home. Let's have a look at some of the stat attacks, and then we'll go over our punts and uh, have a look at some of the, have a look at some of the, you know, the try analyzer stuff and all that sort of stuff, so we can help pick our punts. All right. Uh, Bulldogs have won their past five games at a core stadium. Sharks have scored 106 points in their past three games against the Bulldogs. Wowzers. Stephen Crichton has scored 11 tries in 14 games at a course. Sifa Telekai will make his 100th appearance. Matt, Matt Burton has scored 8 tries in his past 10 games. Jesus, has he? I knew he'd scored a few. I didn't know he scored that many. Jesus Christ. All right, guys, punts for this one, and then we'll, I'll sort of show you why. So I've gone over 37.5 points. I've got Canterbury over 12. They've covered that the four of their last five games. Cronulla over 18 and a half. Like I said, plenty of points against the Bulldogs, and they've covered that four in their last five games as well. And even match totals, that'll get you two bucks, guys. And then my try scorers, I've gone Blake Wilson and Ronaldo Molotalo. Now, I've gone Blake Wilson just because Steve Crichton is named, and I'm expecting him to play. Didn't look too roughed up, didn't look too beaten up. Um, and I just loved the way Blake Wilson looked with... Uh, Stephen Crichton outside Stephen Crichton it was it was against Parramatta I was just sitting there going wow that was nice like they it, it was a really nice com um, combination there now the other one just what I wanted to touch on guys so Bulldogs here so as we can see they're conceding uh, where are they 55% of their tries on their right side which is which is Sharky's left, which is why I've got Molotalo as well. And also, the other one I am looking at is Sifatalico. Now, he's lined up here in the second row. And uh, Nakora plays right side. Sifa play, well, that tells me that Sifa will play left. But Teague Wilton is back as well, who had been playing left predominantly, and Sifa had been playing off the bench and doing a really good job. So I'm a little worried that last minute they might put Teague Wilton in the 
and put Siffer back to the bench. So what I'll probably do with this one, guys, I love this one. If Siffer starts, just check check your sports betting um, check your sports betting app. Um, maybe now, but we'll check the team list now before. Make sure Siffer is starting on the left, and I love that one, guys. I absolutely love that one. I think Siffer can get one. That Bulldogs are leaking over half their tries on that side. Uh, Vili, that'll be Jamin. That'll be Jamin Salmon side as well, because Vili's the left hand side player. So Talakai against and Salmon. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Is that Salmon side? Hang on. Siffer left. That. Billy Army plays left side. Yeah, right. I've got. I'm so confused. Right. Now. <laughs> anyway, either way, they're scoring a lot of tries down that side, so I think they should be right. Someone, someone, drop it in the comments. My brain just like literally did 360s. Then will he be on Salmon's or kick our side? So a doggies fan will know. Just let me know. Pretty sure it was. It's it'll be Salmon side. But anyway. Uh, that should be a good one. Let's have a little look see at the game breakdown. So roughly 45 points there, guys. Totals. Um, you see the overs unders at 46 there, guys. So under 46, slight edge, but I, I think we're going to get. I think we'll get pretty much bang on that. So I wouldn't be taking that 46. It's a bit risky. Um, player props: Blake Wilson 44%, Skelton 39, Burton 31, Bronson Sherry 28. And then, yeah, Ronaldo, like we said, down that side, 52%. That's hectic. Katoa, 49%. I don't mind Katoa either, just because Nico Hines there, he does play right a lot more. Uh, but, yeah, that's uh, whew, she's going to be... Let's have a look at the first try score. I don't like first try score. Ronaldo, 99% uh, chance. That's actually pretty nice. That's uh, pretty nice. I wouldn't take it, though. I don't take him. All right, let's move on to the next game, lads. Oh, so I've got uh, I've got Bulldogs. This Bulldog. Oh, sorry, I'm taking Sharkies to win this one. Sorry, Bulldogs fans. I know you. Yeah, I just I feel like Bulldogs got pretty heavily exposed in the middle last week against like JWH and uh, Tiramay just absolutely owned through the middle. And Sharkies are very similar. I mean, Rudolph. Oregon Confuci will just, you know, I think these lads can hold their own against them. But then when the smaller bodies start coming on and you have Hazleton and Royce Hunt, who is playing off his head, that's when I think Sharkies could probably accelerate. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't mind. I, I wouldn't ex would not be over surprised if Bulldogs can make a contest of it and win it. But I, I do think the Sharkies have a little bit too much firepower there. Week off, I think they'll be good. Um, just as well, guys, all the punts I do are on Dabble. If you do want to follow me, guys, uh, it is Monster Snag. Or if you do want to join Dabble, use the link in my description, guys. Um, and that'll get you a free spin and uh, you'll, you'll follow me automatically so we can uh, we can chat on the punts and all that sort of stuff. So make sure you shoot us a follow there, guys. Make sure you subbed and all that stuff as well, guys. We're close. We I want to get 7,000 before the next state of origin, all right? We're getting close. We're getting close. All right, next game, guys. Talk about must win for both teams. For both teams now. Oh, Jordan Ricky out too. So Blake Moser in, Corey Oates, Fletcher Baker, Jesse Jesse Arthur's back. That's a big in. He's awesome. Um, Marty Tapao playing his first game in ages. Reese Walsh in, but now just just on this guy, I just watched NRL three hundred and sixty and. Um, Gordon Taylor said he went into the Queensland sheds after and said he's never seen so much ice on a footy team in his life. So I'm expecting a lot of those Queensland players to not back up. Uh, there was a lot of... They got they got beat beat up bad in that game. So uh, for New South, for Queen... Like, obviously, they're not playing. Like So Blake Wilson starting, Corey Jensen, Pekura, Grefsky, is that how you say it again? Kobe Hetherington... I mean, that's still a nice pack, but Jesus, it's not Payne Haas, you know, Payne Haas and uh, Paddy Carrigan and Jordan Rickey and all that. So, this is a, this is close to a must win for both teams because if we look at this, right, Warriors have to win just to stay in the finals, hunt. They're not out of it. They can go on a nice little streak. If they go three of the next four, they're right back in the hunt for the eight. Broncos... Move back into the eight just because of the buy. They were out of the eight, so they haven't they haven't moved back into the eight through through a win or through a couple of good wins. It was through a buy. Like I've said this before, Broncos, their goal isn't to make the finals. The goal is to 
win the comp and you have to be in the top four to win the comp I mean if Roosters, Sharks, Panthers and Storm all get wins this weekend and Broncos lose all of a sudden it's slipping it's slipping so both teams really 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 desperate um, Sean Johnson out as well uh, I sort of like it I know, I know it sounds weird but I, I don't like the way they've played since he's been back I really don't I think uh, I like that young that energy that that exuberance that Warriors team showed us around Magic Round time when they actually had some wins. And I just didn't see it with Sean Johnson there. Everything seemed slow. It just seemed slow. Uh, I love this Ford pack, This the way it constructed for the Warriors. Adam Fanul, Blake, Ford, Nakora, Barnett, Torhu Harris. Yeah. And the Warriors, the Warriors have to win this. Like, like They've been poor at home. You know, the Warriors, Warriors have a chance to be the first team ever to sell out every single home game this year. They have to repay their fans with a win here. They really do. Uh, I love this I love this forward pack. I love Torhu Harris starting. I love Barnett on an edge. I love Nakora on an edge. I love Jackson Ford there. I love Wade Egan and uh, Adam Fanul. Uh, this, is, this is as good as the forward pack can get for, for, the, for the Warriors. What have they done with their bench? So we've got Freddie Lassick, Dylan Walker, Tavanga, Kurt Kate. Well, Jesus, she's light. She's a light bench. But then, Jesus Christ, Broncos bench is... you got Fletcher Baker, who's not great. Marty Tapao, who hasn't played a game in, what, a year? Hasn't played in the first great game in about a year. And been told he can look elsewhere. Karapani doesn't even have his profile picture done yet. 22 years old. Oh, he's, oh, he's had a game? Kirapani. I don't remember him. I'm sure I will when I see his face. <laughs> Got the blank mug shot there. Oh. Look, guys, if all these guys play, I'm taking the Broncos. But Jesus Christ, just 1 through 17 like this, I actually really like the Warriors. Let's have a little look-see. Warriors have won only two of their past six games at GoMedias. They've got to win this game, the Warriors. Broncos have won three of their past four games against the Warriors. Warriors have conceded 104 points in their past two games. What? Broncos have conceded 80 points in three consecutive losses. What? DWZ has scored five tries in his past three games against the Broncos. Jesus Christ. All right, let's have a little look see at the try at the uh, Warriors' favourites. Looking at about 45 points for the game, guys. 60%. DWZ, most likely to score. I do like that as well. D Mariner on the right. I have a feeling the tries might come left for the Broncos. Just and give me a look. Jock Madden. Which wing does Jesse Arthurs play? I have a feeling they're going to go left more, eh, with Jesse Arthur's back. Selwyn, what side does Selwyn Cobbo play again? He's left. Hmm. Yeah, make sure you... I'm going, so just, just so you know, guys, I've only done punts for that first game. I'm going to obviously do my short punts. Need to research this a little bit better to go with my punts. But I have a feeling Broncos might go left more than right this game. So I might look for Jesse Arthur's on the left with Selwyn Cobbo. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to re I'm gonna have to bit of a look and just make sh just double check which side. You know, make sure they haven't moved anything around. Jesse Arthur's playing left. D Mariner right. All that sort of stuff. But, uh, yeah, I lo I love Jesse Arthur's. He's such a good player, man. And I love DWZ on this side. Hmm, she's a toughie. Look, man. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do it this way, guys. I I do apologise. I'm pretty sure, I'm almost confident that Broncos are resting these players. If they are all rested, I'm taking the Warriors. And if they're all playing, I'm actually going to take the Broncos. I think the Broncos... There's just too many outs for me. And I, I really like this 8 through 13 for the Warriors. I think they can get it done there. I really do. Yeah, so sorry guys, I do have to sit on the fence a bit with that one. Yeah, uh, all right, next guys, Knights versus the Eels. Fletcher Sharp, how good's that kid been? 
Mitchell Moses kick coming off a man of the match in an origin game. Jesus Christ, he was so good in that game, man. Absolutely incredible. All right, just looking at this straight away, I love Brabham Best and Marju for tries in this one. Um, I love them together. I just I love when they're both on the same side on that left hand side. They're so powerful and strong, both of them. Um, almost on. You know, unstoppable. Um, if they get the running down that edge and get early ball, uh, I like. If you're on sports bet, they do have one where you can go either, you know, for two or more, just in case Brabham Best gets two and Marju doesn't get one, or the other way around. So if you can go Brabham Best and Marju for two or more, I love that. Just remember, Parramatta's edges are pretty flimsy, guys. Uh, Parramatta's team all of a sudden looking pretty good, though. I mean, Clint back healthy, Sevo back finally, Penasini, Russell, Blaze Talangi. Freaky, Dylan Brown, Mitchell Moses, and then this four. Like this, this is actually a nice looking team from Parramatta. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at some stats here, guys. So, Knights have not won at home since round nine. Jesus Christ! Knights have lost their past six games against the Eels. Eels have lost all six games away from home in 2024. Gago has scored six tries in his past. Six games against the Eels. Clint Gutherson scored six tries in his past six games. Yeah, I like a. Uh, I like, I like Gutho for one through the middle, guys. I like Bradman Best and Marju for a couple. And um, Sevo's always solid as well, guys. Uh, and Mitch Moses down the right, right side even. Could be pretty tasty as well. So Blaze Talangi possibly. Mmm, Blaze. Blaze. Let's have a little look-see. Have a little look-see how, um, how bang on I was, eh? Greg Marju, 48%. Tuala, 45%. Bradman Best, 39%. Mika Sebo, 58%, obviously. Blaze Talangi, 36%. You might just get better odds with Talangi, and I just have a feel like Mitchell Moses is going to come back from Origin and just be like, the game. this game is going to feel so slow for him, you know? So, uh, man, I, I think Parramatta get this one, eh? And get it well. I just feel like... Sometimes you can really bring back that winning energy, and I think, I think. So what day is this one on? Mitch Moses had enough rest, right? It is only Saturday, so everyone goes. Oh, there's plenty of time off. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then gets it. So technically, only two full days off. Uh, so it's not a big turnaround. But yeah, I just, I just, yeah, I think. Uh, I think Parra are going to get this one. I really do. Parramatta are not the worst team in the comp, just so everyone knows. They're coming last. They're not the worst team in the comp. And just like the Bunnies, I do have a few. I don't think Bunny, uh, Parramatta aren't playing finals, but I, I feel like there's just going to be a time, just like the Bunnies did in the three of their last four or four or four in a row or whatever. I do think Parramatta will have a little run, which will just elevate them off the bottom. Uh, whether that starts now or not, I'm not too sure, but I, I just don't see the Eels finishing last um, the team that finishes last normally has four wins for the year, three sometimes. Um, yeah, I just I don't see Parramatta finishing with four wins for the year when they've their halfback is literally just one man of the match, and they're pretty they're pretty healthy. Like they're they've like this is it's not like they're fully injury ravaged. Like this is besides Hopgood about as good a team as they can field. It really is. So, yeah, I'm going to go Eels to win this one and win well. Nice odds there, too. Nice odds there, too. Uh, just just one big in. It's just, they're just testing out. Just such a big advantage in the halves here. Uh, Dylan Brown like versus a guy who's never played NRL before. I heard he's a bit of a gun, this or that. But I've also heard people that watched him play New South Wales Cup and apparently he's been pretty average there. So you're talking about a guy who just won man of the match versus Hastings. And then Dylan Brown versus a guy who's never played. Way too much class here, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, I, I like the uh, I like this solid pack. But, yeah, I just probably like to go forward here a little bit better. Yeah, I'm going to go Eels. Eels all day. Oh, Nick Meany out. Ooh. Okay. So, Harry Grant backing up by the looks of it. Uh, what else we got here? katoa has been good. So, Nick Kotrick out. That might be his season. Who's playing? No, no, 
line. Tom Starling starting. Levi to the bench. Yeah, been really disappointed with the uh, with the Raiders over the past couple games. A um, couple just leaking a lot of points here. No, that's just a lot. That's a lot. Um, I really do like uh, the way the well they're on top of the table, aren't they? The way the Storm have been playing. Uh, like I said, I sort of feel like last year, maybe in the year before, they were obviously really good. I think the worst have finished fifth in the last few years. Just felt like they were a good 13 away from being a, a genuine contender. Like every good team has that, you know, that Patrick Carrigan, that whether it's Radley, whether it's Cam Murray, whether it's Yo. That Trent, and this this Trent Liero, he's definitely none of those guys I just mentioned, but he's pretty, he's getting better, he's pretty good. I don't mind him. He's he's been pretty nice in the middle there. Does plays a different role. He's not a full link man or anything, but just running hard, tackling hard, nice late footwork, shifting when it's on. You know, like he's just solid. But yeah, like I said, it's gonna be this is gonna be a tough night for the Raiders. Storm have won six of their past eight games against the Raiders. Raiders have won their past six games at Amy Park. What? Xavier Coates has scored 29 tries in 24 games at Amy Park. Storm have conceded. Um, Storm have conceded at least 24 points in the past four games. I actually don't mind if you can get the Raiders to score a few points here because I think the odds will be nice on this. Uh, but they have really been leaking points. They really have. Like, um, So, you know, four of the last five, that's great. But conceded 24, 24, 28, 26, 16. That's a lot of points conceded for five wins. So uh, if you can maybe pick the Raiders up for, you know, like 12, 13 points, because the odds should be good. I mean, it's not definitely going to happen. Nothing's nothing's locked, but I mean, scoring points too. They've been So if you look at this, they've been conceding at least 16, but every other game in the, in the 20s. And Raiders have been scoring 24, 16, 26, 16, 24. So they're scoring points too. So if you can get Raiders to score 12 points, 13 points at, you know, decent odds, I'd be chucking that in a multi for show. For show. All right, let's have a little look-see. Um, so Paps, I like him through the middle. Big forward pack of the Raiders could get a little tired. Xavier Coates is obviously good for one as well. And yeah, um, Huddy Young's let me down the last few weeks, so I'm not going to... I'm not, I don't want to pick a try scorer from the Raiders this weekend. We will have a little look-see, though. So where are Raiders scoring their points? So 43% on the right-hand side there. Um, and where are the uh, Storm? Storm on 46.7% on the left. Yeah, I would be looking at Xavier Coates here, guys. Um, and, yeah, I'd be looking at Xavier Coates here, guys, for, for sure. All right. Um, I'm taking the Storm to win this one. To win and win well. Um Raiders, Raiders need a win. Like Raiders need, Raiders need to show me a little something, something, a little something, something. Then little more than just a little bit of fight. I need to see a little something from. I don't think they're gonna tumble, but they're looking like they could just go on a little decline. So they need, they need a big game here. If they don't win it, they need to at least show some grit. You know, they can't just play bad. <laughs> I think if they play bad here and they sort of. You know what I mean? They slip down to 10th. If they play, if they get beaten here and play bad, you know what I mean? I think we could see a little slip here because there's a few teams around here that could make, you know, Seagulls could go on a nice run here. Knights, you know, if they beat Parra, could go on a little run. Warriors could definitely go on a little run. Bunnies could definitely go on a little run. So Raiders got to watch their back. Raiders got to watch their back. Dragons versus, this is tough. Now, Hamaso did his AC. You can play through this, but I think you'd be crazy to, especially when you've got a nice guy like Fuller out the back who can do a pretty solid job. Uh, this I'm really struggling with this game, bros, to be honest. Like, Zach Lomax, absolutely killing it. Ben, ben Hunt always comes back and plays good after Origin. I've got Sully... So, Jack Bird. Now, look, if Jack Bird comes back into this team, I really, really liked when Jack... I think it was in the Bulldogs game. They were touching the Bulldogs up in the half. Jack Bird goes off. It sort of threw everything off. Now, Bulldogs were good in that second half, but they just really exposed that edge when he went down. I really like Zach Lomax and Bird on that right side. And then you've got 
Because you've got Bird, that gritty, tough center who's going to whack you, blah, blah, blah. Lomax is, you know, top three winger in the comp at the moment. And then you had you have Modes of Suli, you had... Uh, you have Luciano come, like it became a re- you became really powerful on both edges. Man, I, if Jack Bird comes into this team, I really like the Dragons. I really, really like the Dragons. Let's have a little look. Dragons have conceded 122 points in their past four games at Nestra Jubilee Stadium. Uh, Dolphins have won five of their past seven away hang on Dolphins have won five from seven away from homes this season home for this season what the hell <laughs> Zach Lomax has scored 48 points in his in his past two home games plus what do you get 18 or 20 at origin last night uh, Hamasol has scored nine tries in his past seven games I don't think he'll play alright man you know I'm going to go out on a little whim here I'm, I'm going to take I'm going to take the Dragons I'm going to take Dragons on this one, guys. Let's have a little look-see. Like I said, guys, I've got to take a few risks. Oh, Dragons are favourites. Jeez, I wouldn't have picked that. Hmm. All right. There you go. Well, the bookies agree with me, lads. Although the bookies have been so off this year. I wouldn't be surprised if they're wrong. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, Zach Lomax, always good for a try, guys. Jermaine Asako. Hamaso's not going to be there. Yeah, I like Lomax. Yeah, I'm not too sure with my try scorers here. So, where are... So, surely Dragons are scoring most of theirs on the right. Yep, 55%. Now, where are the Dolphins conceding them? Uh, they're left, yeah. So, yeah, Zach Lomax, guys. Zach Lomax, for sure. Yeah, I'm going to take the Dragons. I'm going to take the Dargons. Uh, but, I, again, Dolphins have been a be- much better team here. If you're smart, you'll tip the Dolphins because you know what you're going to get. But Dragons, very, very good. Can be very, very good. We've seen them put 56 on. They beat the Panthers less than three games ago. Yeah, it's... Uh, they lost to the doggies there. That was, but they were well in control of this game. Whoops. Well in control of this game for a while there. And fell to pieces. And got the Rabbitohs too. What? Their last game, they lost 38-8? to I don't remember this. March 17th. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that would have been like round three or something. Dragons are a much better team now than they were then. Jesus, Dolphins have... This will be the Dargan's first win against the against the Finns. No, like I said, guys, if you're, if you're doing good in your tipping comp and you're going good, I'd, I actually... I'd take the Dolphins because I think they're... I, you, like, again, you know what you're going to get. But I'm just going the Dargan because I have, a, I have a feeling I like the team. I think they're a little bit better. I think their best footy is very good. And I just have a, I just have a little feeling. I have a little feeling they're going to get this one. I have a feeling. Panthers versus the Cows. Now, who? This is going to be very. These two most affected teams by Origin, I believe. Nanai out. What happened? That's a big out, man. That's a big, big out. Jesus. Braden Burns, Granville, Clifford, Shabosky, McLean, Todd Dofty. All right, so. Oh. Cowboys, wow. Robson not named. Battle Holmes, Tualangi, Deer and Reese Rock. They have to, pl- you have to play them, bro. Well, oh, they're coming eighth. I thought they were about tenth. I guess you don't have to play them, but Jesus Christ. Or do you rest them and just take the L against against the Panthers and then just regroup for the week after? Jesus, that's a tough one. Let me just have a look who's done. What? Are, this might tell us what they're going to do. So they come off a buy. Do you take the L here? Go against the Seagulls, get another buy. 
Jesus. Do you risk injuring your players against the Panthers where there's a good chance you're going to lose anyway? Ooh, that's tough. Why is Tyron Peachy here? He, he literally retired yesterday. Hmm. Interesting, guys. Um... Right, so Dylan Edwards backing up. Taruva, Tago, Alamotti, Toro, Cole, Luai. Moses Leota, Mitch Kenny, Fisher Harris, Sorensen, Liam Martin, yo. Jesus Christ, Liam Martin was good. Yeah, I just, I, I, I don't see how, if all these players play, I still think the Panthers will get this dub. But if, geez, if they roll out this, this nonsense, yeah, that could be a, this could be a cricket score. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, taking the Panthers in this one, guys. We'll have a little look, see. See, see who we're going to bet on for the Panthers. So we'll have a look at their try analyzer. So Panthers are scoring. 47% on right side. And where are the... Where are the... Cowboys are conceding. Pretty even. Not, they don't really have... A, they're plenty through the middle. Maybe it's Moses, Moses Liotta through the middle. Now, like, 28% uh, is pretty high to be conceding your tries through the middle like that. Moses the Oda Fish through the middle. Uh, Dylan Edwards, I'd be looking at too. Zipping off through uh, offload, buzzing off. Just remember how slow this game's going to feel. I mean, it's just been running at Cotter and Sewer and all these hectic guys. And then now next you've got McLean and these sort of guys. You could definitely, uh, definitely get a little something-something through the middle there. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Mm -mm. So Brian Tottle, fifty-eight percent. Jesus Christ, Sonny Taruva. You probably just bang those two in. Probably get yourself three fifty or something. But yeah, I do like Dylan Edwards too. If you if you're on a sports betting agency that gives you three legs, and you get you bet back if you only one leg misses, you could literally put these three in, get pretty nice odds. And if you get if you get a bonus bet back, like I'll just chuck them in together now. Let's have a look. So we'll go, I don't have that, I don't get any bloody, any of those promotional things, but if you can get one, you go try scorers and you just go to or Taruva, Dylan Edwards, oh that's sorry, I can have to do a multi, um, player tries, to or Taruva, Dylan Edwards, 580 on double, yeah it's not bad, I'm not going to do that because I don't have a... If one leg fails, get your money back. To me, three try scorers might be a little rich in this one, even though we hit all three try scorers in Origin. Uh, yeah, I um, yeah, I don't I don't mind that at all. I probably won't be taking a try scorer from the Cowboys just because Panthers are leaking what two tries a game. You'd be pretty lucky to pick get yeah pick a try scorer. So yeah. Uh, So solid win from them. Lost to the Warriors. Lost to the Dargans. Lost to the Warriors. Hmm. Yeah, only conceding 15 points a game. Yeah, I probably won't take any try scorers from the Cowboys. But yeah, if Cowboys, yeah, they're probably rolling out an understrength team. They, they, they might get a touch up here. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Like I said, guys, it just sucks. We don't know who, exactly who's playing up until an hour before the game. Just so everyone knows what they do in the... Um, what they do in the NBA and what I really like is so Dylan Edwards is um, you know he's backing up from origin right so what they'll do is in the NBA they'll have a little thing here so let's just say you can have like confirmed or you can have like probable like they're probably playing like something would have to go wrong like them rolling their ankle you can have um, questionable which means like you just they're, maybe they've got a niggle and you're just waiting to see how they go and then they've got, uh, sorry, the one before that's probable. Like, they're probably going to play, but, you know, like, maybe he just pulls up. Maybe he had tightness, no injury, but just a little bit of tightness. Which is, he's probably playing, but... And then they have questionable, which is like, he's touch and go. He's only, you know what I mean? He might not play. So, yeah, I wish, I wish they did that in the NRL. Yeah, it's really good. It's just, you just know, like, well, Edwards is... Even if he's like, oh, he's, he's probable, or, you know, he's questionable. I'm not going to put him in my multi and risk it being voided or something like that, so... Um, 
Yeah, so what we Panthers have won 14 of 16 games at Blue Bet. Cowboys have not won at Blue Bet since 2016. Luas won five from five against the Cowboys. Kyle Felt requires one try to reach 10, 10, 10 tries for his ninth straight season. Wow. Tot has scored 23 tries in 17 games at Blue Bet. Yo. Yeah, all right. I think we know who we're picking, lads. The Riff. All right. Roosters, Satili Tupanura in the centres? What the hell is going on here, man? Manu, wow, that's interesting. He's so good, though. You've got to get him in your team somehow. Angus Crichton, just just a quick thing on Angus Crichton, right? I just want to give this dude his raps. Like, look, I'm just going to, I'm going to, like, this is sort of revering a bit of a, a, a side of me where it's, it's a bit, not dark, but just like, you know, but like Angus Crichton obviously had his his health issues, mental health issues, all this sort of stuff, and was questioning whether he was going to play anymore. Blah blah blah. You know he's playing the New South Wales Cup. We didn't even know if he was going to play again. Blah blah blah. And then, you know, he came back and had a couple pretty good games. But the media glazed him like crazy for those two games. And I was like, I was on it. Like yeah, like he's awesome. But just because, you know, bros, man, you can't you can't rip on someone that's had all that sort of stuff. But I was sort of like, well, the media is beating him up a little bit. He's been pretty. He's had two pretty good games. You know what I mean? And they're talking about him for origin. So I obviously didn't say that out loud, but I thought it in my head. And I was like, oh, Jesus. He's had two good games. He's barely played for year, year, over a year or whatever. Bit bit rich, you know? Like, I just I just thought as the media sort of give him a pump up because he's a good bloke. Everyone loves him and he's had his issues, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, whatever. But I tell you what, <laughs> he's just got better. He owned that. I just, he is spasm man like he is on one he is so good I'm just so happy for him he's just just kept that form like he had to burst on the scene a couple of good games and it's just literally just gone like this just just he's for like he just absolutely owned that edge it was he was untackable and if he did get tackled he won the collision and got a quick play he's incredible man uh two remains has been on one but yeah this is just this is just getting to ridiculous oh Connor Watson at lock wouldn't be surprised if that changes, guys. Yeah, look, uh, Tiger's on a little streak here, looking for three in a row. But, yeah, I think this is where it ends. Roosters are looking enormous at the moment. I think they can push right up into third, possibly even second. They look very, very, very good. And Jesus Christ, it's got 72. Whoops. Look at those tries. Oh, Ango. Connor Watson. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I think it ends here for the... Not ends here, like it's like the, the season's over. But I think I, I do think the Roosters will be a bit too tough. Uh, Roosters have won their past seven games against the West Tigers, seventeen of their past eighteen. Jesus Christ! West Tigers aim for three consecutive wins for the first time since two thousand eighteen. JWH will equal the all-time um, appearance record, three hundred and six games. Tedesco plays hundred and fiftieth for the club. Let's have a little look at some of these stats. See where we're see where we're putting our try scorers, lads. Dom Young, 64%. What? I wonder what the line is. 13 and a half. Yeah, I'll take Tigers the line. All right, so looking at our overs, guys. So what's that, 37, 47? Totals, 52 and a half. Yeah, we could see some points here, guys. We could see some serious points here. This is a game you can load up on. Uh... Yeah, we've got one, two, three, four guys with over forty-six percent chance against a team that can leak tries and could get their heads down. Yeah, that's uh, I'd be loading up. Similar to the other game with the Penrith game, like let's have a look. What if you did just do Dom Young, Tupo, and Tedesco? Clear all. Let's have a little look. See, so odds might be terrible because sometimes this doesn't work out. Just because these guys do have such good... Dom Young's down to $1.44. Dom Young, Manu, Tedesco. You're getting five bucks flat. It's not too bad. It's a bit better than I thought it was going to be. Um, under 52.5 points, 4% edge. Not bad. Uh, so where are the... So This is going to be right side heavy. Oh, no, they're scoring just as many on the left side. Oh, of course, because of... Bloody 
because of bloody Angus Crichton getting all these tries. Uh, where are Tigers conceding tries? T -t 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 Tigers. I can never find the bloody Tigers. Where are they? Tigers, Tigers, Tigers. Oh, there they are. 44% on the right. Yeah, Dom Young, I'd say, is getting a try this game. It's not ridiculous. It's only 41%, but still. Still. All right, so we're going... We're going Roosters in that one. That's it, lads. We're done. All right, so let's let's walk through this real quick. So we got... We're going Sharkies. We're going... We're on the fence with this one, but... If Broncos aren't bringing those players over, I'm taking the Waz. Uh, Parramatta, Storm, Dargans, Pennies, Roosters. Let's go. Seven from seven this weekend, lads. Let's go. Don't forget to drop who you're tipping in this one, guys. Um, and yeah, it uh, should be a good one. And bring it on. Absolutely cannot wait. All right, guys, that's it. If you made it this far, you know what that means. You're an absolute legend, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.